so hi all right this is acro chronicles number two and i felt compelled to talk about this matter of fact i just got my nails done and i'm just like a lot of things are going through my head you know which we gotta be careful of sometimes but i know i do because sometimes i i know where that is stemming from and i gotta learn not to entertain it because i know that's not of god and my freaking thing is running out of storage let me clear it all right guys so basically um i wanted to talk about oh my god um some things that i wanted to like share i don't know if i talked about them before i probably did and if i repeated it sorry your girl go crazy sometime but um trauma people like sometimes i don't know how to deal with it sometimes i have to be real with it with it Sometimes I have to allow myself to get over it. Sometimes I have to rebuke the devil into swaying me into evil thoughts or thinking something of ma with malice intent. Now, no one told me healing journey was easy. No one told me that, you know, it was going to be easy, um, which is fine with me. I'm always up for a challenge. But baby, is this... Uh, First of all, the power of forgiveness is a challenge. I think if you could work your way through that, I think not everything is a piece of cake, but I think you got this. So, um, I just learned to like, I, I was just thinking about all the, I just think, you know, I see a lot of hurt in the world, a lot of all that, right? And it's like, I myself. I can't get the answer to that on iPhone. I know you can, girl. Only Jesus could give it to me. So, so stupid. Let me pull up. Hold on, guys. Can I get up here? So, trauma is, it affects people differently. And we got to be patient with people. And this is the power of communication. Now, I, I don't think I affected anyone. But then again, I don't know. But I know far as for me in my household, I like to practice communications. You know, we can affect our own children. We can sit there and affect them in a way that we, we thought it was tough love or, uh, or speaking wisdom into them, but we didn't allow them to express their concerns or their uh, proper emotions. And what me, I'm like, in my house, I want everybody to be, you know, talking up to me. I want you to tell me what's real, what's going on, if I did something to you. But I also got to be real myself. Like, mama, are you healed from your wounds? You're practicing. You're, you're trying to practice what you're preaching. And honestly, I'm still working through my wounds. And a lot of wounds are those are people that I trusted uh, with causing uh, such... It's disgusting truly honestly okay it's quite disgusting how people would definitely flip a an issue that they cause into down and i talked about this before but you can see i'm still done with it okay so i'm sorry i changed my battery so all right so being that i I'm still I'm dealing with it in the sense of learning different roots of healing myself. I forgave for sure. I forgave for sure. But not for them. It's for me. For me. And that was hard within itself. I grew up, okay, fun fact. You ain't know about me. Maybe you did. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you heard me say it. Girl, I don't know what I did yesterday. So, I personally grew up with three brothers. Or really four because he passed away. But I consider him my brother. He's not my biological brother, but he's my brother, brother. What is my... You're using a lot of your service. I can't for you. Brothers. So, I have a natural aggressive effect. Some people, some girls that were raised with men in their life where... You know, they could be soft. I could be soft, and I'll leave that in another, um, in my submissive wife, um, video. But I'm always aggressive. I'm, I'm, I take that back. I was always 
was always aggressive meaning i had to do what i seen was my i see my brother have a problem boom attack if i see my dad get into boom attack my mother boom attack and it's like that's how i was right and i'm not blaming the that um but i'm going by <laughs> excuse me, learned behavior, things that I was familiar with that made me safe. And I didn't see other approach at things. If someone talked about you or someone did something to you, I'm going to go attack. That's just mama. Like, I'm going to go attack, attack, meaning with my words. Or if it had to get, Lord, I don't condone violence. But if it had to get physical, mama going to be down for physical. You know what I mean? Um, um, You may, even if you... 10 times bigger than me. I'm going to go ahead. And even if I lose, baby, I'm going to lose going down with a fight. You know? So, growing up with all brothers, you know, it taught me, you know, now that I think about it. And I was just thought, my brother, actually, I had a conversation with my other older brother, Anthony. And he was like, you know, you should do a video of, you know, how it is growing up with all brothers. And not for nothing, it also kind of plays into how I handle things. It's nobody's fault. And it's not even a faulty situation, to be quite honest with you. It's just, hold on. Okay, this is the one I wanted versus what I didn't get the other day. By my fault. Default of myself. Okay. Alright. So, um, I just got me a caramel macchiato. I was going to get an extra espresso, but the way my head has been telling me, girl, you need to back up. I don't know who you thought you was, but hey, yeah, yeah. So, growing up with brothers, it has taught me so much. Honestly, I love each and every one of my brothers beyond this earth. You know, my brother, Eddie, and I, we talk about everything. My brother, Anthony, everything. My older brother, let me use to put makeup on him and do his hair. Their name is Vito, Tony, and JR. Okay, you mess with them? Okay, you just know I'm coming. But they taught me to utilize certain tools. And as I got older, and even more so older now that I'm going into 37 next month, I had to learn to be that tough mama and now you're coming into yourself so you need to learn okay let me back up now i remember growing up you know that certain things were told to me that was like beyond me you know and it was family that you know you don't look like us um because i am i'm very light-skinned and i have green eyes and hazel green and i do understand that part but and i have their cheekbones though these cheekbones and those eyebrows that we have because i have centipedes for naturally for eyebrows but my children have them um except for they got their daddy shape so long story short baby is short because i don't, I don't want to do short story long is i was not that I think about it, which is not good to think about, but you know, we all human. We dwell in our past sometimes of certain things that you could have done differently. And it's like, I will no longer be that young girl that they expected me to do, uh, be right now. Where if I have a conflict or if I have a uh, uh, an issue, I will come to you. And some portray that as, oh, you stepped into me. No, baby. As a human, you gotta communicate, you know? And if supposedly I value your relationship with me, I should be able to come to you, right? But once I was addressed in an aggressive um in a way that made no clarity, no sense to me what the hell just happened. Um, which this also happened in real life situations with men okay when i dealt with men um where i was more of a dude i was more of a dude towards our relationship and it was like oh i don't want to be with a dude like you're mad pretty you know and that person you know that i grew up with always had to point out something about me you know some very much something about me and it's like that plays in your membrane 
which is your brain. I call it a membrane. But in your brain, and then you start thinking ill of yourself. Then you start wanting to change. And then you want to see, then you start following suit with that individual. Now you done lost yourself. And that's what I wish I would have changed in my trauma. So my trauma basically was falling victim. Because I didn't know. I was a young girl trusting someone that I thought I can trust. But um, clearly it was a dud. Meaning it wasn't what it was. It was a facade they put up. So back then when everything came out in the open i was like oh hell no let me not oh they're talking about me let me say what i gotta say and listen they will write paragraphs and this and this and that you've been felt that way about me boo you've been felt and it stems to when i was younger so it makes sense but what I can't do is fall victim to that trauma. Meaning, I can't engage no longer in that drama. Meaning, I had to heal myself. Even though I know what they're saying, it's just to, because they don't have that quality to open up a conversation generally. So in order to conversate with someone, they had to put down somebody in their path or someone that has spoke of someone they know that they like they had to dim that up that person that they're talking about like by speaking ill spreading lies and i noticed too even that happens a lot with teens like there was a young girl and this is why i bring this up too who committed you know what you know offed herself because of a fight that happened in school and they posted it on the internet and we don't know what truly happened there um you know and from that from what i can only give you my opinion because of what the story that's being put out there i'm not blaming the young girl because at all is her fault but it just goes to show you the power of the internet as well as years and new things arise that what people will do to make themselves look like a victim, to make themselves look good, to make themselves an it factor, you feel me? So it's like, no one said you won't be hurt by it. No one said you, you know, you shouldn't um, heal from it. You shouldn't let it bother you. See, I'm a big healer. I like to heal. I like to talk about it or heal. And that's one thing I had to learn nowadays. Where back then, I was like, oh, for real, you want to say that? But let me say this. But for the sake of what's going to impact your world, and of the audacity of me to still consider their world, I ain't going to say it. But you can't do that to me now because I'm going to say it. You know what I mean? So I had to learn, where is this coming from in you, mama? Where is this I don't know if I'm confusing y'all, but maybe if I am, you can let me know and I'll clarify it more with the points. But you can't fight fire with fire and expect a result of peace. No, I said, this is out of my hands. I said what I said and I blocked that person, right? I said, and even though they disrespected my mama, my children, my husband, I still kept it respectful. Okay, because at one point I looked at a person a certain way, but I will block the hell out you. Okay, and I said what I said. Now you can continue at your age to do what you do, but far as Sharice, Mama is concerned, I'm no longer that little girl you knew. I'm no longer uh, a person that's gonna. Stay sure I have a backbone so strong in order to snap me like it would take you like God's the like, Goliath strength because I've been through so much and I know you hear that all the time but it's what you do to use that trauma and to positivity and I get it it may take people years it may people take people you know a, you know I'm not saying it's gonna happen overnight but you gotta like I look at it like this mama you can hold on to this trauma and be bitter 
You could sit there and, you know, go on people's pages and see what they... No, baby, that's too much energy I'm giving that person. Too much power you're giving that person. I'm not giving you that. So, what you say about me and what others perceive of me due to your opinion and your um, fake news... Um, God bless their souls and I want them to believe every bit of it. Believe it. Let them be let them be bamboozled. Okay? But it's like I learned from my brothers. I remember my brothers having a talk with me. And I used to get bullied in school, right? Because of my butt and my butt's so big and you need two chairs. Like innocent dumb stuff, really, to be honest. And my brother was like, oh, you need to stand up for yourself. And there was this one boy, I ain't gonna say his name, but this one boy used to always talk about my butt. Like, stop talking about my butt. Always saying something, very much something. Like, sweeties, very, is it making or sweetie? Whoever said it. And it's like, too. Like even calling me names, like how comparing my butt to wrestlers, but so my brother went up to him because my brother Eddie and my brother I don't know if my brother Eddie did it, but my brother Eddie did it. But come to find out that boy liked me. You know, and sometimes we gotta understand sometimes that place comes from envy. How people perceive you and, and uh, gravitate towards you and people actually adore you can actually set someone off near and dear you to where they don't like that. They don't like how People gravitate towards you. How people actually enjoy your time. And you don't need a lie. you just you. You know? Like, you're just literally you. And some people change because they want to be liked by that person. So we don't see that at that moment. You know? And sometimes, like me, it took me years to say, oh, you a dirty person. You real dirty. You know? So, but it's not up to me. I have to let God handle that person. You know, as long as you don't cause harm to me physically, you can write a book about me, and I'm going to sue you though, but you can write a book about me on Facebook or you want, on Instagram, tell people, oh, like, oh, when I gain my weight, oh, look at you. Yup, look at me, but remember, I inspired you. You're doing, see, I could be negative and say, well, you're using the machine I love. You're doing things that I taught you. So that right there just shows me you was inspired. And I had to let it be because it's not cocky, it's the truth. And it is what it is. See, the thing about people, and especially females, some females anyway, they could be so catty and all along, all you had to say was, sis, show me. But some people are too prideful. They can, what? Especially if they're older than you. What? No, never. I could never... But there's nothing wrong with that. Because I have no problem asking someone, hey, can you show me this? Like, can you, like, teach me how you did it? And, like, this YouTuber, like I said before, I had to say, I can't do this on my own. And she's a down chick. Like, I'm going to have to just ask her, like, and she was show me. And it felt so real. It felt real. You know? But I learned through my trauma to say at one point like now these last couple years is mama you are better than this you are not what they say so why are you entertaining it that's what gets them mad and cause more things for them to talk about and I refuse to allow them to use me in such a way to distract me from my determination from my focus in life and once the devil sees you doing good he will use like the elf in the shelf and there you know the you know santa and his little elf workshop that's how the devil has it like the devil has the devil right and then he has his workshop which is his minions i call them minions i don't know why but that's how i view it so before i go to react i'm like if you still in 2023 talking about people instead of elevating and if you don't like somebody or whatever listen you need to talk to god you know what i mean and growing up with brothers was amazing but also annoying because they swear they were my bodyguards which they were but i never actually put my brother in harm like i would never like 
call my brother on anything because I know my mouth. I know me. And I wasn't all peachy king. But, oh God, I hope I didn't detour you guys. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. But, it's just like, I am not going to allow. Like my brother says, why are you entertaining it? My older brother. Why are you entertaining this? From before, I mean. I mean, this would be like kids at school, whatever. You're beautiful. You have a great body. You're amazing. Um, you're not meant to be skinny because I always battled my weight. Even though back then I was like slim thick, you know, but girl, I got some weight on me now, but it's okay. Um, but you're beautiful. People who come to attack people only attack you because they see you as a threat to them. Because ain't nobody going to attack you. For no reason. The devil ain't going to attack you if he knows that God got a blessing for you. But he don't know when God's going to bless you. So in the meantime, he starts to stir up everything. And that's what I learned from my trauma. To decipher where am I, what am I going to not give in? You get it? Because the devil will try and poke and poke and poke. But eventually you'll see how you know mad they get. And how long the paragraph goes. And how long they keep going with their words to hurt you. You know what I do? Ain't nothing but the devil, boo. You need to seek help. And growing up with brothers, also, it was fun. Annoying. But I appreciate them. Because they did enlighten me of certain men and how I should hold myself. Besides my mom and dad showing me. But how I should hold myself as a woman. Don't let men do this to you. Men are going to try to do that to you. Men are going to say this because you're beautiful. And da 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 da. And I heard it. But at that moment, I didn't it see, uh, uh, receive it. So when... I had to go through my rough patch, okay? I said, oh, this is what my brothers were telling me about, what my dad was saying, what my mom was saying, you know? So mama, what are you gonna do differently from now? Are you gonna dwell on what he did to cheat on you? Or when you found out this and that? Or you just gonna say, you know what? It bothered me, it hurt me, but I gotta move on. And that's what I learned. You know what I mean? I had to be sorry I had to call my son to come outside to get his dad's food so I had to learn mama when are you gonna cut it out like seriously cut it out people are gonna talk about you to the day you die they talked about Jesus okay and it's like when you learn to say oh baby you're mad you're, this is not an issue of me. This is an issue of you. You learn to look at things differently. And I remember my brother saying, I told you so about this dude. I told you. And it's like, okay, you did. And my, my brother Eddie loves saying that to me. <laughs> I love my brothers. But, and I'm appreciative. I did not grow up with sisters. But to have the ability to grow up with my brothers and actually talk to them as such come on you know brothers oh there goes my baby so that's my baby right there but um my brother i forgot what i left up but my brother definitely i appreciate them because i could talk to them with the ability of talking to them like i would talk to my okay put it this way my family got called every name yeah you guys are boring you don't do this why because i don't need a freaking uh, 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 drugs to to uh, make sure I have a good time. I don't need an alcohol beverage to see if I have a good time. No, I don't. Call me boring all you want, then I'll be boring. Okay? But to have brothers that actually treated me the way they did, even though they annoyed the hell out of me, they would tell me things I don't want to hear, like, Mama, you, you ain't right. You ain't right. You shouldn't be doing that. You know, like, when I get into arguments with my bro my husband in the past, I would tell my brothers and, you know, just because I wanted that insight from a man's perspective and the same thing with my dad. And I'm grateful for the freaking support system I have because that's a lot for a woman and a young girl. You see a lot of girls out here with daddy issues and trauma, you know, and it's like, dad, only if they had that ability to have not ability, that that moment to have with their fathers. This is why it's very vital, very freaking vital that men step up to the plate. And, you know, you lay down and have that baby. You don't know how much that affects a child. 
you know, to be an absent parent. I could never in a trillion years look at a being that I created and say, I don't want nothing to do with you. I would go nuts without my children. They are my freaking world. And it's sick that you got absent parents out there because they can't be with the mother or the father or disimprove. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you have to remove your child because of an atmosphere or a toxic problem, then you know how to then you know how to handle that in court or whatever. And I commend I applaud you for that because you're making sure your kid is not in harm's way. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about just simple pathetic excuses as to why you can't be a dad because of your selfish reasons or because of her selfish reasons you know how much that affects a child and their trauma growing up do you not know how much it hurts them but you wouldn't know because you're thinking of your selfish ways so when you want to come back into their lives we're saying oh you got parents i said well you shouldn't treat them a certain way you shouldn't treat your dad or your mom if they're trying to come back into your life you treat them with respect okay now i have a problem with that I could treat you with respect to a certain degree, but you're going to hear me out. I'm not going to tear you down. I'm going to hear you out first, you know, and I always tell my, you know, I always tell people, hear them out first. You know, like, I, um, you know, my son, he, if, if he ever wanted to meet his dad, you know, his dad was there at a point in the time because I don't trash talk my dad, my son's dad. He was there, but there was a time where I decided to move on. And now guess who's left behind, you know, and. And I'm real with my son. I be honest with my son. I don't know how that man is today. You know, and it's none of my concern because I don't care. I just wish him well and in best of his health. But, but if my son, like I always tell my son, you know, if you ever wanted to talk to him at this age, because I did, you know, talk when he was younger, but just know. That is your biological dad. You give him respect, but hear him out, and then you give him. And if you don't agree, and if you don't want to, it's entirely up to you. But as a man that I'm raising you in the church, and a man of God, you're only forgiving him. And I know it's hard, but forgive him, forgive him. Just forgive him. We were all young, we were all dumb and stupid, and we didn't realize the effect. Um, but... Forgive him, not even for him, but for you. Because God said to forgive. It may be hard, but you've got to forgive. You know, and it can bring so much anger to children and so much anger to people that they don't realize what you're doing. You know, and my son, even though I know, he he tells me he's okay. Mom, I'm good, mom. I'm good. I got you and Rob. I'm good, mom. You know, but I know. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. But I know you need to heal, baby. Because the mom could only be a mom so much, you know. And I don't trash talk him, but I keep it real with him, you know. So, it's just like my brothers, <clears throat> they don't tell me what to do. <coughs> but they say, mama, it's up to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, he ain't no good. Or that friend ain't no good. You know, don't do not do it, mama. So, it's all a choice. In some circumstances, it's like, mm, the mom ain't doing what, she, you know, she's keeping them the kids away because of certain reasons. You know, and that's why I find it real funny when people talk about my situation with my eldest son's uh, dad. It's like, you only going by one story. And that's why I also don't need to entertain it. You know, you can feed the world what you want, but it's like, I only know. I slept that I slept with him, and I created this beautiful, handsome mixture with him. And, you know, as a mama bear, I'm going to protect my cubs. You know what I mean? So... And with that, I had to learn myself to heal because I can't, I have to make sure I don't put that on my son, that bashing and that negative talk. And it's a lot that he's going through. Never mind the mama harping on it. You know what I mean? So we got to be careful what we pass down to our children, but also keep it real. I mean, real enough. So there's certain things they don't need to know personally, like personal business between you and the, the other person. But Amongst them, if that person was a good person, 
Be real. Like, I don't know what happened. You just fell off the face of the earth. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or because, you know what? I I just know they were there at one point. But then when I moved on, it was just like to hell with everything. You know? So, it's just like I, I can only pray for him. I pray for his health. I pray and ask God to touch that man. And there's no malice. Same thing with others. I don't have malice. I just know to separate. To no longer deal. You feel me? I don't deal with them. But, you know, and it's a big thing that people don't realize. Having all these babies and not taking care of them or favoring one over the other. Eh, you don't know what you're doing to that child. You know, it's a big effect on even going in and out of jail or just brushing their feelings off or whatever. You don't know how you can affect. So I had to learn, Mama, you need to heal before you talk to your kids about anything. Like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I did anything to my children, but whatever they may go on in school, it's tough these days with these kids. Everything is posted on the internet. A fight. Um, I, um, ridiculing. It's a lot to drive anyone crazy. But, and even still when we talk to our kids, we still got to be vigilant. We still got to be aware of their surroundings. And the kids too, be aware of your surroundings. And also learn, sometimes people deal with things at home that they spill out onto you. And unfortunately, you're the freaking target of it all. And it's not fair. But, pray. Prayer is real. God is real. No matter what people try to say, oh, the chakras, this and that, there's only one God. And I'm not here for debate. You believe what you want. And at the end of the day, I know what's real. But, yeah, guys. Growing up, our brothers were awesome. It helped me. It taught me to learn through my journey. And they also brought me through my journey. They also spoke some knowledge to me. They also say, well, mama, you are better than that. Even when God revealed that to me. But when I found myself in a corner and said, oh, hell no, enough is enough. Then I had to call on to my family as a village. Like, what do I do? What do you suggest? There's nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Everybody wants to have, not everybody, some wants to have a, a strong exterior. That'd be me. But you have to say, you know what? I have to surrender. I have to have God put me through this. All right, guys. Okay, my camera died. Whatever. But I had to have God bring me through this. And I said, you know what, God? I can't get through this without you because you know me, God. You know everything about me, God. And you know what I'm going to do if I don't... If I, if I don't remove myself from these situations with individuals. So when I did that, the amount of peace and the amount of unbotheredness I had of people speaking ill. Talking about situations that have no concern of them. But they're going to do it anyway. I can't fight the world. But I can't fight for my peace. You know what I mean? I can fight for my peace and my joy and my happiness. And I can fight for who... I'm not going to allow you to, re to remove everything I work so hard for over a mere opinion. Not even a fact. So that's why I said, you know what? Let them think what they want. Let them say what they want. Let them do as they should do. Move in their own way. But you won't move in my way. You're not going to sit here and try to... I don't know if I'm looking at the right camera. Yep. And try to belittle me. And I gonna, I'm going to react. No, that's what the devil likes. Okay? And I'm not doing that. Think of me what you will. That's your free opinion. That's an amendment. That's your thoughts. That's your opinion. It's not a fact. It's an opinion. And I had to learn that the hard way after so many years of, you know, you know, arguing for my name or just arguing about the fact of my son's um, issue, like my oldest son's dad or whatever. I'm not going to argue over a past that you, for one, have no concern over. So, no, I will not. That's an issue you have to deal with yourself. And if I have to block for the sake of you, then I will. Because I'm blessed beyond measure. I am happy. 
And I'm not going to let the devil's minions or his 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 little elf of a minion, whatever, get in my way. And it took me a while to get here, but I got here. And I love it here. And I'm here to stay. You know, I'm not going to let people that I was once close to allow me to get out of character because of their uh their their, their fairy tale lies, their 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 uh eagerness to prove to others that she ain't it, like she ain't what she say, even though they clearly know. Mama's dope. Mama's dope. Mama pretty dope. You know, everybody got their issues, okay? But Mama's dope. She a real down chick. And this is not for me to prove anything. You can think what you want of me. But I refuse to allow my waste, my years, my youth get wrinkles. <laughs> Besides naturally getting them. But I'm not going to speed up that process. And you having the ability to, to deteriorate my health. Baby, that's too much power you want. And you ain't, you ain't it. You ain't it. That's how I look at things now, you know, and as long as I know I'm not harming anyone, I'm not doing any of that, then I'm good. I'm, I'm right where God is my concern. My household, my kids are fed, my man's fed. Okay, um, I'm good. I'm sorry you're in the position you're in, but if you stop putting the, sorry, not sorry, because if you want it better, you do better, but also, a fool can't, you know, stand to be corrected. And that's something God would have to do, not me. That's out of my jurisdiction. You know what I mean? That means it's out of my way, out of my lane. I'm not here to save you, but I'm here to enlighten. I'm here to express my testimonies in hopes of touching a soul. But if I don't, then I, I, I don't know what to say. But if I do, baby, I'm here with you. And I, and I understand I get it. I've been through it, you know, and many years, my husband told me, don't entertain, mama, don't entertain. And it's like, I am sorry that you had to endure those freaking storytellings. I'm sorry that I probably like, oh, God, here we go. You know, so I learned that my household and my peace is better than entertaining negativity. If I want a happy life, now, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but if I want a happy life, I have to learn, baby, you can enter it and I can allow you to enter it and I will not allow you to enter it. So you got to go. Even if it's blocking you, you got to go. You ain't right. You need to get right. And I'm not here to get you right. You got to deal with that with God sooner or later. I don't know when, but God going to let you know when. So, yeah. But all right, guys. I love you guys. I do. This is me being honest, transparent, in the car. Acro Chronicles. You know, and I actually, I like it. So, I love you guys. And I hope, you know, you take this. If it helps you, it helps you. If it doesn't, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's me being transparent. When I was a 17-year-old mom dealing with a 25-year-old man. That taught me so much, so much, rather it be right or wrong. But I learned from friendships, from boyfriends, from, from family ships. But you don't just lay down and just take it. You take it as a lesson and then you utilize those two. God had given you the ability to open up your eyes and say, no, I'm worth more. You, you, you're not going to do this, boo. You, who you thought you was? Mm. No, I am. All right, guys. I love you. I do, I do, I do. All right, let me go before um my macchiato gets all. Um, I forgot. All right, Repair let's go. My weakness, satisfying you while I keep bleeding.